Good morning, adventurers. We are on our way to the Magic Kingdom right now. We are walking across the concourse from Bay Lake Tower to the Contemporary to get on the monorail. This is a great view. We get a view of the castle. This would actually be a nice place to come and watch fireworks. I wonder if they allow you to stand here or if they block it off at that point. But look at that nice view. So again, the screening process to getting through the checkpoint here at the Contemporary is still very easy. It's all touchless. You just walk straight through the metal detectors and as long as you don't set anything off, they're not gonna search. Now we're gonna find out how bad the monorail transportation is going to be here. So it is not uh, opening time. We're, we're actually a little behind park opening, rope drop. So the crowds are not quite so bad. And I think we're gonna be lucky because we are the first stop on the monorail after the Magic Kingdom. I think if we were in one of the other resorts, we may have a harder time. All right, so we got on the monorail. Uh, no real issues. Like I thought, we are the first stop after the Magic Kingdom. So the monorail was pretty much empty. Now we're heading to the Ticket and Transportation Center. And I think uh, by the time we hit the last resort, uh, they, the monorail is gonna be full. So, yeah, they're, they're only doing one party per car. So, I mean, you can see we, we are all by ourselves here. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. The monorail is not holding much. I think the closing time is going to be a real issue for people going back to the TTC. I, I have to be honest. I feel like it's a little uh, overly cautious to have one family per car. I mean, there is you could easily sit somebody over across from us and we're still at least six feet away, so. So I just wanna show you, this is the TTC, and uh, the express monorail from here going to the Magic Kingdom is almost completely empty and there's nobody on it. I think everybody is going for the boats, which seem to be holding a lot more. Right, or everybody's going to Hollywood Studios. I mean, today is the first day opening for Epcot and Hollywood Studios, so. Uh, while I don't think it's necessarily going to impact the uh, crowd levels at Magic Kingdom because of the limited tickets available, I think that's where everybody is headed right now. So the entrances are not that busy. Of course, it is not rope drop time, so we're a little later than that. Here it is. Here's the entrance to the Magic Kingdom. It is so empty. Oh my gosh. I feel so good. It has been too long since we came to the Magic Kingdom. I am ecstatic, elated. I know you can't tell because of my mask, but I am very excited about this. Here is Main Street USA. So I wonder if they're not putting up the Halloween decorations because they're not doing the Halloween parties. The one thing I'm a little disappointed about is I don't see any fast pass photographers at all up and down Main Street. Usually they would have them like every five feet. So I'm not entirely sure if they have them. Maybe they only have one, I'm not sure. I get a little closer for a shot of the castle though, because they have repainted the whole thing. <laughs> Nobody's sitting at the tables. It looks like the plaza is open for breakfast, so that's good to know. Um, Casey's Corner is closed. Yeah, we're going to the plaza for lunch later. It seems very strange, like nobody's sitting at the tables, nobody's sitting around the greens. Usually there's people everywhere and I, I like the fact that it's empty because it feels very exclusive, but it just doesn't, I don't know. It seems unusual. Yeah, I feel like this is much more empty than even a Moonlight Magic event, which is strange. And here's the Mickey statue. Usually there's people crowded all around you. You can never get a good photo of just the statue. Yeah, I just heard some one of the cast members telling somebody to keep their mask on during pictures, so they won't let you take them off at all. Oh, here comes the marching band. Maybe we'll get to stop and take a, a look at them. Here is the castle all painted up. I don't know, what do you think? I like the pink. I like that. It looks much brighter and more vibrant. I think the blue is a little bit overdone though. I think it's too bright on the blue. They could have toned it back just a bit, but overall I like the castle look very much. So this is the only show going on still is the Bean Street Philharmonic. I love this band. They are so fun to watch. So I followed them for a little bit. I wanted to see if they would stop and do their usual show, but uh, 
they are not. It is just a march through. It's still really awesome to see because they are an amazing band. So as we're walking through, I see that the uh, refreshment stand over there is still open. I don't know that they're doing popcorn anymore, or maybe they are, but you have to bring your own bucket. Over there, you got the Crystal Palace. That is closed. That's a character buffet, and they have not reopened it yet. Here's the spring roll cart. They have not opened that up yet. Uh, when they reopen, it looks like they have uh, house-made cheeseburger spring rolls, which I've heard are really good. They got some pepperoni pizza spring rolls featured, and they have the regular spring rolls. It looks like the Reuben ones are gone. I, I, my mind is blown. I feel like I'm the only one here. It looks like uh, Bawana Bob's is closed. They haven't opened up the little stand yet. But Sunshine Tree Terrace, where you can get the citrus swirl ice creams, is open. Skipper Canteen is open. And it looks like they have a sign out here saying, seating available, inquire with hostess. I thought you needed to have a reservation or you could not get in, but I guess that is not the case. So they have this board up giving you health and safety reminders and in a minute it's going to switch over to what's opened, what's closed, uh, and wait times. There we go. Jungle Cruise, five minutes. That never happens. That's awesome. All right, so it looks like nothing is closed over in the, uh, between Adventureland Frontier and Liberty Square. Five minutes. Yeah, five minutes. The most, the, the biggest one is 15 for uh, Splash Mountain and Big Thunder. It looks like, uh, oh yeah, so the meet and greets for Mickey Mouse and Tinkerbell are closed, obviously, because they're not doing any of that. Monster's Laugh Floor is closed. Uh, it looks like that's the only ride that's closed. Looks like the Island Supply Gla Sunglass Hut is in open. Oh, they're working on something here. Some scrim wall up. I forget what was there. Uh, it looks like the uh, the water effect on the uh, camel has been turned off. Oh, the whole bazaar is closed. First ride of today is the Jungle Cruise five minute wait. You either love it or you hate it. I love it. I have a feeling that we are going to be the only ones on this boat. Hi. Guys, are we excited? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's much better to be over excited than overboard. Mm -hmm. after yeah. all. All right. King of the boat. Yeah. King of the boat. <laughs> It looks like it's just us. And That's we're it. Clear. Nice. All right, everyone, pick up those hands and wave goodbye to all those nice people there on the Bye. Dock. Yeah, we're never gonna see them again. <laughs> wave goodbye to all my fans. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Bye. 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 Yeah, they're on the ceiling. Nine of them over there, and they go in circles, just like <laughs> I do. All right. Hello again, everyone. Welcome to the world famous Jungle Cruise. My name is Skipper Tess, and I will be your skipper, your guide, your dance instructor. And if you don't laugh at my jokes today, your swimming instructor. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't even know how to swim. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do know what this is. Oh, it looks like they've made it. The water of the world is out there. Backside oh. of water! <laughs> oh, it's too late. Oh, it's too late. Oh, <laughs> I love the Jungle Cruise. I know the jokes hardly ever change, but it's so much fun. And it was really cool that we got the boat to ourselves this time. Because usually I feel... A little, uh, I, I feel like I can't interact with the boat driver quite as much, but since we're by ourselves, uh, I could say anything I wanted. So I think our next stop is one of the kids' favorites, the magic carpets. Here we go on the magic carpet ride. I can show you Disney World. Take you ride by ride. So this is definitely one of the hottest rides. Like these seats are really hot because it's right out in the sun. So you may want to come either first thing in the morning or on a cloudy day because my foot is burning a little bit. Now the, the ride was so empty that uh, we actually got our own car here and Star and Preston got their, their own Woo! Ah, up and down. Oh my goodness. So I see that Aloha Isles refreshment is open. That's where you can get those delicious Dole Whips. Now we're going to head over over after whew, sitting out in the sun on the uh, Aladdin's carpets, I need some air conditioning. We're gonna go into the Tiki Room. All right, so unfortunately, they just started the close their cleaning procedure, which is gonna take about 20 minutes uh, before the next show. So since we can't get into the Tiki Birds, we're gonna do the next best thing for air conditioning, which is the Pirates of the Caribbean. Now, uh, I believe I have seen Jack Sparrow in other people's videos still meeting out there. You just can't get close enough to. Uh, photo with him five minutes I love it even though the uh, wait time said five minutes the line starts way back here um, 
it's very deceiving because everybody is standing so far apart you really can't tell how long the weights are just by looking so i would say trust the board all right so we may have gotten here right at the end of a cleaning cycle because we basically just walked through through the queue from that point it looks like they're seating two families per boat i mean obviously it depends on your family size but we're in the front and we got other people in the back Ah, I got wet. Thank you, now, you swamis. What may I offer for these hearty heads? Everyone a egg layer. Not less than me, golden eggs. Hey there, you bilge rat. Oh, quit your clucking. The gentlemen want the rum, don't you, boy? So they have the conveyor belt here shut off. I wonder if that's so that they only need to clean certain areas of the handrails. And of course the Purell. Gotta do that after you come out of every ride. These, these ears look new. I don't think I've seen these ones. Those are nice. Those must be for the new Mulan. No, maybe, maybe not. No, we saw Mulan ears. Yeah, we saw Mulan. I don't know what that's for. I like those ears though a lot. That's really pretty. The so Pirates of the Caribbean is a must ride. I had, we have to do it. Another one we have to get to. We're gonna see if we can catch the next show is we're going back to the Tiki Birds. No trip to Disney would be complete without the Enchanted Tiki Room. Looks like they only have this back row open and the uh, front handicap access. Uh, that probably helps to, so that they don't have to clean so many railings. All right, so they got every other row closed down and they got sections taped off for physical distancing. So you gotta sit between the tapes. Pay attention, it's Joe time. So it is. And what darling people I have sitting under me. Well, we have had a terrific morning here in the Magic Kingdom. We got to ride everything in Adventureland. Now we're gonna go see about lunch at the plaza. So I'm gonna break the video right here. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Now it's your turn. Come on down, join the adventure, and I'll see you next time.